Hey YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel. Those of you that are new to it, my name is Jeremy and this is my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to create a quick but decent looking thumbnail for your YouTube video. We're basically gonna go from this to that. If you're ever filming a vlog or another YouTube video and you forget to take a picture to use as a thumbnail and you need something quick, um, you can take a screen capture or a quick selfie and you want to turn it into uh, something worthy of a thumbnail, something that has the background nice and blurry or a solid color, this tutorial's for you. So basically what I'm going to do is navigate to a website that will remove your background for you. I wish I could remove my background, uh, literally my beautiful pink insulation glued to my basement uh, walls since I've been stuck down here during COVID-19. But anyway, um, we're going to use an AI driven uh, website that will automatically detect your face, remove the background, it's pretty slick, and then we're going to take the low res free output that they allow you to download, bring that into an image enlarger website that also uses AI to blow the photo up to a decent resolution, and then we're going to pull that all into GIMP and turn it into a pretty decent thumbnail for your YouTube video. So let's get into it. First thing you're going to want to do is navigate to remove.bg and we're going to follow the obvious arrow, click on upload image. It's going to bring up the dialog box. Gonna grab my file. It'll take a moment to do its processing. And then you're left with a 577 by 433 option, or you can download a high res version, but I think you have to have credits for that. So what I'm gonna do is download, and it's gonna save to my computer. Okay, so the next step is going to be we're going to head over to a website called imglarger.com. You'll have to sign up for a free account, but it's only a couple of steps. Um, then you're going to navigate to the file you downloaded from the previous step. I'm going to resize it to 4x. This little drop down box here, we're going to click start. It's going to do its thing. Just take a few moments. And once it's done, it's going to present you with an orange download box. Just make sure to save the image as. In my case, I'm on a Mac, so it might be a little different than what you see. Okay, last step is going to jump into GIMP. I'm going to open up the original picture I took, the selfie. And I'm also going to open up the, uh, the newly downloaded one. I'm going to note the, uh, the resolution 2308 by 1732. I'm going to resize the original picture. 2308. scale. So now both images are the exact same size. Next step I'm going to do is grab the magic wand tool. I'm going to select the empty background. And the next thing I'm going to do is invert the selection. So now only I am selected. I'm going to go back to the select menu, shrink, I'm going to make five pixels shrink, so it's going to pull in the uh, selection towards my face a little more. And then I'm going to delete myself. I'm going to grab the selection tool. I'm going to change it to add to the selection. I'm going to draw a box from the bottom corner just to re-add what was kind of shrunk from the bottom. You might not have to do this depending on, on your picture, but... Now I'm going to take the color white, bucket fill myself white. I'm going to invert the selection. 
I'm gonna fill the background in solid black. And the way to do that in GIMP because the selection wasn't perfect, there's a little bit of the picture left there. Uh, to, to force it to be completely black, you wanna hold in shift and the comma button and then click and then it'll force the whole thing to be one solid color. Okay, once we have the solid black background, we're going to deselect. We're gonna highlight everything, control A, control C to copy. We're gonna go back to the original image, duplicate it, and then hide the original layer on the duplicate layer. I'm going to, just for demonstration, I'm going to create a Gaussian blur crank it up in a pretty good way so we can really see the effect. Something like 20, hit OK. We have a nice blurry image. Re-enable the top layer. And then on the top layer, I'm gonna create the layer mask. We're gonna paste in the black and white mask that we just created and anchor that to, to the layer side. And then there you have it, a nice blurred background and a nice high resolution uh, image to use for a thumbnail. From here you add your text and anything else that you'd like to have in your, thumb, your thumbnail, for instance. Pretty much that's it. Resize the image to 1280 by 720 and upload it to YouTube and you have a decent thumbnail with very little effort. So that's gonna do it for this one. If this uh, video was helpful to you, please leave a like. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate that. And I'll see you guys in the next one.